hi everyone welcome back i'm going to show you how i make my natural green clay soap bar this is a soap bar that feels amazing on your skin it does a great job of cleansing your skin without feeling um, dry or stripped it's made with um, natural butters like shea butter cocoa butter and moisturizing oils like avocado oil so i'm just going to show you my process of making this amazing soap bar let's jump right in if this is your first time stopping by my name is esther and i make diy natural hair and skincare videos and i also sell some of my products on my website uh, my website will be linked in the description box um, if you want to check that out i'm currently running a 50 percent off sale on my website I'm going to start off by melting my hard butters and oils. Um, I'm using cocoa butter, shea butter and coconut oil um, in this soap. So I'm going to melt that first. And if you've never made cold processed soap, please check um, the description box. I'll have some helpful videos uh, linked um, there for you to watch. Um, but you want to practice um, safe precautions when you're making cold processed soap. Make sure you have on your mask, your goggles, gloves. Um, you want to protect yourself from lye, from the sodium hydroxide because it can burn your skin. So I'm going to melt this off first. I've already weighed out my plant oils. I'm using avocado oil, castor oil and olive oil you can use any combination of oils that you want uh, to customize your soap that's the beauty of making your own soap bars and i have my um, hard butters already melted so i'm just going to combine um, that together and add it into my bowl I checked the temperature of my oil mixture it was about 80 degrees Fahrenheit and I also checked uh, the temperature of my lye solution and that was about 80 to 81 degrees Fahrenheit so now I'm just going to get my stick blender and I'm going to carefully pour my lye solution I'm just tapping um, the bubbles um, out of my mixture um, so please 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 be careful when you are handling um, lye or sodium hydroxide so I'm just going to pour that in and use my stick blender to mix everything in I'm going to get another bowl and I'm going to um, pour some of my mixture um, but before I do that I'm going to add in my titanium dioxide I'm using this to um, lighten up the mixture uh, slightly just to make it a little bit brighter and give it more of a white color and um, I'm going to uh, pour off my mixture next into my second bowl and after doing this I'm going to um, grab my uh, French green clay I mixed my French green clay in some distilled water uh, until it was well mixed well blended and then I'm just going to add that into that um, second bowl and mix um, until it's well combined I'm adding in a blend of essential and fragrance oils. Of course, you can always leave this out uh, when you're making your soap. You don't have to use um, a fragrance or essential oils. Um, so I'm just mixing to make sure um, it's well um, combined. Um, I'm going to use my stick blender um, one more time just to mix for a few seconds uh, before I pour into my molds. Why 
and I'm just going to do um, a combination of both colors just alternating between the two of them um, and then I'm going to texture the top of my soap bars I don't do anything too fancy with my soaps and a quick reminder I have posted all the dates uh, for the uh, classes on my website for February I have the uh, body butter 101 workshop um, I have found out that so many people are still struggling making body butters um, so I am offering this class um, there are about four dates in February all the information is on my website and I'm still offering the beginner classes um, for anyone interested um, you can check out the um, information in the description box and um, on my website there are reviews for people that have taken the classes there are a lot of lovely reviews so check that out if you are interested in taking um, any of the classes so i'm going to set this aside for 24 hours before i unmold and cut uh, my soap bars And this is what the soap bar is looking like. I always love using um, herbs and botanical powders, clays um, to color my soap bars. And um, you can always use micas, of course, but I like the natural um, herbs and clays um, when making my soap. Um, so I'm just going to cut this up and I'm going to show you what the inside um, is looking like. Um, it's just a nice, a simple swirl um, pattern um, to the soap. Um, once again, I don't do anything too fancy with my soap bars, but this is what it's looking like. So I'm going to leave these to cure for at least uh, four weeks. You want to do this with your cold process soap. Um, they need at least a four weeks uh, curing time. Um, but I love making soap. Um, the beauty of this is you can customize your ingredients for different skin types. And um, it's made with such amazing uh, natural plant uh, butters and oils. Um, that your skin will absolutely love so don't forget to check out my 50% off sale um, on my website these soap bars are still available uh, but let me know in the comments what you think of this soap if you make cold processed soap please share some of your tips and tricks that you use um, when making your soap so this is the lather after four weeks uh, curing time um, so once again, I hope you found this helpful, useful. Please don't forget to subscribe if you've not. And also turn on your notifications so you don't miss any new videos I upload. And also like this video because that helps me out. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.